All right, gentlemen, let's do a cheers to episode number five. Chick, 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 wah, wah. Crispy wind tips hey. with Josh Hey, Cheers, cheers, cheers. Chick, click, 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 click. All right, so it's ketchup time. Not to be mistaken with ketchup time, but ketchup time, oh, baby. Shit. So, Josh, man, what's That's going on whiskey. with you, bro? Um, hey, what do you think of it? You like it? I think it's pretty bum. Ooh. No, it's like, I didn't even drink strong. it. What it's is it? It's smooth, though. It's bourbon, yeah? I don't know. We are drinking... It smells strong. E-R... It smells like death. Ewing? Whatever that is. I don't know what the hell this is. <sighs> drinking out of wine glasses like some real gentleman, first of all. It is pretty smooth. It smells a lot stronger than it actually tastes, though. It's kind of sweet, almost. <clears throat> kind of like you guys. That's just not bad. Aww. 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 <laughs> Hearts. Um, <laughs> but uh, what did you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk already. <laughs> uh, what's been going on with you, man? How's your, your food? Oh, page? yeah. Yeah, yeah we haven't seen you in, in a few months, man. I know, man. Well, I just saw you the other day. I saw you like. Yeah, I just seen you. I didn't see you in a few months. We, we went out and turned up a little bit. <laughs> we did. Where did we, we go? lived our best lives. Uh, Pasadena. That's right. Pasadena. We went with your, your cousin? No. Uh, we went with my partner and his cousin. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told you that the Barney's with like 12 fucking rooms. Yeah, yeah, I remember. 12 fucking rooms. Bro, it was like a maze. <laughs> yeah, it was actually pretty, pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, and they had like hella bars. It was tight. All this one thing. But Your no. first time going to Pasadena? Have you been there a couple times? No, that's my first time going out in Pasadena. Ah, uh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it was pretty lit. I was, I was pretty impressed. It's pretty fun, yeah. It's cool. Yeah, you know, there's a lot yeah. of cops, though. I gotta say, yo, there was cops. There everywhere. was a shitload of cops. They're always. I mean, I, I get. I think there was like shit going down. Just trying to. Oh, maybe that too. But I think when I was there, there was nothing going down. But I feel like they just want to keep the city like nice and pretty and shit. So they just. I mean, they just stay kind of made it look it. more ghetto with all the cops. I'm I was. Yeah. There's like literally SWAT guys in front of every single club, and we're like, nothing's even really going on yet. <laughs> like y'all just out here, just being out here, looking for trouble. <laughs> just yo, dude, there was a. There was a few fights. There was a few fights. Attempts to fight. Yeah. People trying to fight, it didn't really work out for them. Probably because all the cops. <laughs> yeah. Which actually makes sense because they did the job they were trying to do. That's very true. But also, the fight that we seen, I think they were like really drunk and just was not connecting hits or swings. Did you see that? Where was it? Nope. I forgot what bar we were in. It was inside the bar? or was it outside No, it was the outside bar? the bar. There was one we were watching from the window, like... Like some nosy grandma. <laughs> get him, get him. Hooligans. Hooligans. Who are you, baby? Looking like that. Look, come into the window and look at this. <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, but no, I, man, what have I been doing? I've really just been working um, and trying to focus on, from the last time I talked to you guys, like really trying to focus on this Fashionable East thing. Um, How's it going so far? Uh, you know, Taking off since last going, time? About the same? It's going. No, it's. Making progress. You dismantled the whole thing. You stopped Making it. progress right oh, there you now. Go. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I wasn't really posting anything, um, and I wasn't really going to places. So like now, I'm legit just finding some new spots to check out, um, to present to you guys who follow me. You're the first. <laughs> it's actually pretty so, cool. You're the first link on on Google when you put a fashionable eats Instagram. I know, right? So go ahead and uh, look me up. Fashionable well, eats with a yeah. Z at the end. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been doing that. You feel me? Just that, <laughs> and that, <laughs> and that, and that, and that. That you know, watching hella porn and shit. Like, nice. just the normal dude thing. What kind? Man, do you really want to know? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no, you know, just the <laughs> regular. I'm into. It's just regular shit. I don't really want to get into the weird stuff. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I mean, you know, you have those moments where you accidentally like, how the hell did I end up here? Or sometimes you're like, whatever, man. It looks interesting enough. <laughs> That's very true. And then you try to watch it like this, like with your hands over your <laughs> eyes, but you still peek through. And you download it for later to watch it. <laughs> to watch it again. Because it's so it. <laughs> <laughs> But you put it under your hide so no one else can see it. Yeah. That's exactly what I've been up to. Um, outside of that, I, man, um, I'm working. So I'm trying to like figure out my transition out of that, like the current job that I have. Or either transition out of it or my, out of my current position. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's been a lot. Just a lot of thinking of what my next move is. That's no idea? I have no idea. I think no one has an idea of what the... <laughs> I think you kind of just like... Play, play by yourself. ear? Yeah, you just play by ear. And you're just like, I'm going to do this. And you're like, am I going to do it? <laughs> let's see. Well, let's see. Yeah, let me jump into this and see Find how it happens. Um, Nothing else, though? It's the summertime. No summer plans? You doing man. something? Oh, you know what? Other thing I've been up to. Um, thank you for reminding me. Not going this summer, but this summer I've been trying to focus on saving up 
uh, for my Japan trip in November. Yeah, that, that, oh, it's November, okay. Yeah, man. Um, it's so close. It's only like, what, less than four months away? Yeah, it's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah, right around the corner. So doing that, um, I'm super juiced about that, bro. I'm going to this, there's this bar out, uh, it's like a video game bar, but they have all the old school, like Sega, Nintendo, like all those. Um, free game, gameplay, and they have alcohol, so it just makes everything better. This is... <laughs> Where is this? Hey, man, brother. Uh, it's in Tokyo. <clears throat> Oh. Uh, Tokyo, Japan. And then uh, oh. I'm trying to check out this is ramen spot. Can't pronounce the name. But when I do, figure out how to pronounce it. <laughs> you Have you practiced any Japanese? Yo, I downloaded I... Duolingo. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I a good one. Yeah, I downloaded it too. Pretty, never used one it. with the little green bird, right? Yeah, man. Whee! It's a pretty good app. I mean, yeah, I, too. I haven't opened it once, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I what try, I do is going down. It, it taught me a little bit of Spanish, but I don't feel like I use Spanish enough, which is really odd because I work with, like, my client base is majority. majority yeah. like, I'm Mexican. I don't Latinos speak Spanish. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's cool. Yeah. I know uh, 20 quarters. Or, yeah, that's it. 20, 20 quarters? quarters. <laughs> <laughs> is quarters quarters in Spanish? Um, Why not? I, centavos. Yeah, I don't know. Centavos? Centavos means cents. Oh, centavos. Maybe I did so know Spanish. So, 20 centavos? So, 20 cents? I was like, why do you need 50 quarters for? <laughs> to wash clothes, man. <laughs> for a year? <laughs> I gotta wash the laundry. <laughs> I had probably like a month, a month's worth. Um, yeah, man. So, that's what I, that's really what I've been focusing on, really. That trip, um, fashionable eats, and that's it. Working, working out, too. I've been doing that. Oh, uh, big time. Man, what you been doing? Just CrossFit. <laughs> We did your your hike this morning, right? Yeah, man. I've been ooh, man, that hike. Ooh, that hike. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna make it, but I made Runyon, it. Runyon, right? Um yeah, did Runyon. Um it wasn't bad, it's just the heat. Like how many hikes have you done? Have you done a, a bunch down here? No. Like different trails? Uh, or different like how trail. many times have you literally hiked? Tra- different trails, yeah. yeah I've trails. never done Runyon. And view looks cool, but when I see the actual hiking, it looks like it's like a twenty minute hike. I'm like, that's not a hike, that's a little a don't short be, breeze. Don't be fooled. Oh no, it's tough? No, you it's an actual workout. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's two different. Well, you can go up a couple different, two different ways. I think uh, the way we went up today, it was a little bit. Oh, they're both really. That's a lot of incline on both sides, actually. Yeah, either way you go, it's a lot of workout. Mm-hmm. But so the the side we went on, like I said, it's like all incline. But when you're coming down, it's like fuck. Like the the decline just doesn't end, and you're just like, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, and then there's no there's no shade, and today was like crazy hot. Yeah, it's been hot this whole summer, man. So like ninety something every. I don't remember being this hot last year. No, and it's wild. It's almost like, you know, what's crazy is that when people talk about like LA versus Northern California, they only think about San Francisco. So they only think like, it's so cool out there. And I'm like, this, yo, this is starting to become Vacaville weather. Yeah. <laughs> or even Val- Vallejo, Vallejo stays hot, gets hot too. too. Yeah. yeah, Vallejo gets hot. Conquer and stuff. Yeah, like Conquer be hella hot. Random places, yeah. Conquer be hella hot. So yeah, man, that's what I've been up to. You feel me? Sometimes I'm on a corner working my shifts. <laughs> I think I've worked that corner with you a few times. Very true. It's a hot, hot corner. It's a hot corner. Lots the, of the block's hot. People are so horny. <laughs> so horny. But yes, that's what I've been up to. Uh, what about y'all? I was, which, what have y'all been up to since the last time I seen y'all? Hey, what you been up to, Adrian? Me? Uh, well, I, I don't know how much more news it is, but I've been working this new job, which is cool. Um, that's it's been pretty dope i mean the fact that i could work whenever i want is probably the best part so that's been going on i am in a relationship now come on i knew congratulations and we actually just passed her one month back in you know today's world that's like 20 years (laughs) it was on the 29th so a m- a oh, you're almost that too now. Man. A month and six days. Today I made plans to hold you. Did you did you like send that to her? I, I, I hope you did. I kind of did. I did a video of me yeah. crawling around the floor telling her I love her. Man, like a kitty cat. <laughs> I put on whiskers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what cats do. Eh? <laughs> it's a cat noise. I love it. That's tight. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so that's that's fun. Wait, wait a minute. How'd y'all meet? How does happen? Uh, through a mutual friend. I don't know if you ever met a mod. You met a mod? I think I met a mod. Yeah, Egyptian dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where you guys? Where you guys met? Uh, he, I worked with that guy. He introduced us. I got her Snapchat, hollered oh. at her, 
And luckily, it was her birthday month or birthday weekend, and she was in New York, so she was like partying it up. I'm like, that sounds awesome. I want to go to New York. Tell me all about it. So it was like the easiest icebreaker, and we started hitting it off. And then she got back, went on her first date, and then and then the rest is history. The magic candles started to light up. The music started to play. R. Kelly was like, (laughs) step, 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 step. That one or the piss on you one? That's not the one I was thinking about. <laughs> piss on you? <laughs> hate is gonna yeah. hate. Love, love is gonna, gonna love. love. See, yeah. <laughs> this is my song for... That's the one I was thinking I did not about. piss on her for the fact. Yeah. <laughs> for the record. For the for, fact. For the, for the fact of it. For the, for the fact. <laughs> for the fact book, I did not yeah, piss yeah. on anybody. For the fact, no printer. I did not pee on that girl. <laughs> I boo-booed on her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but boo was another thing. Uh, yeah, I did that. Let's see. Um, so I've been juggling that. I mean, work is actually pretty... Hefty on time. As much as I don't have to clock in, it's fucking takes a lot of time. Uh, and then the days I'm not, I'm hanging out with her. And the days I'm not hanging out with her and not working, I'm hanging out with this guy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, and yeah, I mean, just get adjusted to that. I mean, new job and new relationship. So I'm learning that time management realm. And it's, it's busy, man. I feel like I have... No time for nothing. I feel it. But that's how I be feeling cool. sometimes. But secretly, I just be laying in bed looking at Instagram, stalking <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm like, what a time goes. Uh, five hours later. Man, I think it's hard to do it because I feel like social media, and this is a fucking excuse. Social media, I feel like, has so much valuable stuff. It keeps you connected with people, but it takes up so much of your fucking time. And it's not like it's something I want to go into right now, but there's just times where I know I just waste like hours on that fucking thing. Like, I'll just go on Instagram I like, know when that. I have nothing to do. And the mornings when I'm trying to use the bathroom, I hear you like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's funny. <laughs> Yo, they be having some great Matt, memes, I just tagged you with something. I, I know, get out of the bathroom, gotta take a shit. Like, wait, 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 I got a few more posts to scroll through. Instagram is great for toilet time because you can just watch all kind of like that you call toilet time. videos. <laughs> you said toilet time. TT. <laughs> for the boo boo room. For the- <laughs> you know what it's TT? For the boo boo room. <laughs> I mean, they just got great memes on social media that just keep you... I don't know why I never used to use that explore section, but now I use it, and it's amazing. Like, it's a a never-ending supply of, like, memes and stuff. Yeah, man, um, I like this update that they have on there, because now you can, through the Explorer page, you can go on there, and it's, like, different, like, genres of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, like, like funny or, like, spiritual or whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always go to... um, Fights. I'm just put my phone back down. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong site. <so. laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's what you're very distracting. Okay. Anyway, I don't know why I got on that subject, but it's very distracting. So I'm trying not to be on that because if I thought I had a little time, that's tef- definitely taking time up. But I can't bring myself to do that. Uh, the fucking people like go off the grid for like a month. You don't even do a month. You could just do a week. I should go off. For Yo, a I did. You know what? But you know what's crazy is I used to think like. Are you gonna do it one day? Who the fuck really like who like just it's not that bad. It's not that hard. It's low key. Yeah. I did that shit for a week. I was like, man, I'm so bored. I have That's what I'm saying. At. Like, unless you're like straight up really addicted, it's there's really no issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then after like a couple of days, you're just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. I mean, shit. The thing is this, you, you go back on it. Yeah. You yeah. can if you don't want to do something, you'll not do anything anyway. So that you can't blame social media because you'll just watch TV for that time instead, or you'll do whatever for that time instead. Well, That's I'll do true. I'll do both. That's the even worse problem. Like I. I'll multitask while on Instagram while watching TV, and then I'm like, while taking a nap. Yeah, while taking a nap, (laughs) while taking a dump, (laughs) while tagging you in memes. And it distracts distracts you, bro, because like you watch TV, and even like watching TV is like a distraction itself. Like I'll be watching TV, and then I'll be on the phone, and then I would like miss the whole thing. I'm like, well, the movie's over. Let me reverse it back to the beginning and watch it because I skipped the whole thing. I'm like, fucking social media, man. Yeah, it's funny because I just seen a meme of. What you just said, basically, you spend 30 minutes to find a movie that you're just going to be on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth, bro. It's fucking yeah, the like, truth. It's unfortunate. It's stupid. It's so dumb. But I've watched the entire Black Mirror series. I've only actually seen like three episodes. <laughs> what? I'm on my phone the whole Conscious time. Matthew has only watched three episodes. Yeah, yeah Conscious Matthew only watched three episodes. Well, in your defense... Or in Black Mirror's defense, I don't know whose defense, maybe Josh's defense. Some of those get really, you, you really can't ever look away. Yeah, yeah some, some of them, them are, are, really are fucking intense, and you're like, I can't look away. And yeah. some of them are so weird, you're like, this, this is, is not for me. I just yeah. got to get through yeah. it, because I know there's another episode that's going to be better next time. So Wait, did not watch it? We watched one. We watched one the one episode. where yeah. the, that's like one the, of the, the few that electrocuting yeah. room. Oh, one? man. Yeah, yeah that, that shit was, that was crazy. 
where she went in to the museum yeah. and it ended up being her dad in there. It was, it, what was the museum? It was just called the, the Black Museum? Or what was the museum called? Oh, I forget. But it was definitely like a museum ran by super racist people. Right? Yeah, yeah racist, think, a racist yeah. ass dude who was coming up with like these crazy technologies to, I think two of them had to do, no, it was like moving consciousness out of the body. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. then it turned into like low key torture. Yeah. Yeah, the last one. Yeah. 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 I was like, holy shit. That's right. Yeah, I remember now. It's yeah. Crazy. Bro. Sick. In the head. So what about you, Matt, man? What you been up to? Quit my job, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brr, 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 brr. Brr. Give it up. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking living life. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers. Uh. How's that? <laughs> like, how's that going for you, though? It's crap. I, I hate it. Oh, damn. Um. So for those of you that don't know, I was like basically a paralegal for like when you add it all up, like four years almost. Um, it was a long time. And I hated it, hated it, hated it. And then every day I'd be like, man, I, I hate this thing. And I'm like, eh, everyone hates the job. Just suck it up and deal with it. And I was like, you know what, man? I, I don't have to put up with this. So I just don't have to. So I hit the two-year mark. I was like, you know what? Two years, it's a nice, solid, you know, I, I gave it two years. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> give two years. <laughs> wow. That was, I love the excitement <laughs> and the anger. So much passion, man. I get it. So passionate. <laughs> and, um, and so as I, I bailed, peaced out. I'm out the door. And um, so I've been here learning online digital marketing and all this stuff. I'm getting certified and, and by Google and all these places trying to figure it out. Um, but it's tough, man. I'm, I'm running up on, on two months. Yeah, two months of being unemployed just about. And hard, a handful of interviews. Obviously, none of them came through. And a uh, thousand trillion bajillion um, rejections. No, um, no. So I'm still learning stuff every day, and I've actually taken on like a side product to help a friend out. So I'm doing this whole website, redesign for free, help him out with the social media marketing for free, all this stuff for free, just so I can, A, figure it out if like, this is something that I know how to do um, or if it's something I like doing, and then B, I can use it as like just a reference you know, on a resume. Say, I actually did this guy's whole website. I did everything for him. No, yeah. Hire me. Um, so it's, it's tough, but it's fun. So far, I think I really like... Um, Digital marketing, though. So that's what's up. Discover that. See, the good thing is, if you didn't quit your job, you may have not jumped into it as exactly. Deep. Yeah, no, because I, 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 I thought about it for a long, long time, and I could have, oh, I could have at any point, I could have decided to do it, but I never did because I was always like tired from work and this and that and blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far it's cool, and then I, of course, as I have all this time in my hand, I've had more time to do other things. So I'm like working out more. I'm getting back in shape. I used to, I used to be like Mr. Gym, and then I stopped like the entire year of 2018. I didn't do it. And I've been going four or five days a week for about two months now. And it's going great. Woo. Getting buff as fuck. <laughs> so, like, question. Yep. How's quality of life for you now versus when you actually was going to work? And when I mean quality of life, I don't mean money-wise. I mean just quality of life. Because yeah, let, let, me, let me make it clear. Money-wise, I'm hurting. <laughs> <laughs> I will put my donation thing in the, in the, in the bottom, in the description. <laughs> Go fund me link is going to be Matt. at the bottom. Right? <laughs> fun, um, quality of life is amazing. I feel great. I've, I mean, I, I feel like I was trying to do too many things at once, but that's not to say it was a bad thing. Like I started journaling more like every day or every other day. I started practicing meditation. Um, I started, um, changing my diet, going to the gym. Like I'm doing like a hundred of things a day, doing affirmations. Like I was doing, started reading, listening to audio books, listen to more podcasts. So just doing so many more things that I think add to productivity and then just doing, um, Sudokus and little, like so many things. Um, so I actually, I feel great. I used to think that like, man, I'm just always tired all the time. Like, yeah, hey, maybe, maybe that's just, you know, that's, that's adult life. That's adult thing. You're just tired all the time. You got to just find the energy, you know, um, and, just, and just make it happen and stop making excuses. But nah, man, like it, it's, apparently that was just a bad place to be in. I was just in a bad mindset because I, I feel amazing. It's the 180. I feel great. Nah, yeah. And yeah. I think too, like when you're doing something that doesn't really like feel you, like f- fulfill you, yeah. it doesn't feel like, anything to enjoy so you feel like one it feels like a chore and then you have to do this every day and you're like i'm tired yeah. would you <laughs> would you do what i so what, I, what i've kind of learned to realize is that i wasn't like making a killing as a, as a paralegal but i mean i was making a decent amount of money um i've kind of come to the conclusion that i'm gonna have to like freaking take a step back take like half the salary i was making just to do the digital marketing crap because i don't know i don't know anything i have no years of experience mm-hmm. would you guys do that is that is that too risky is that no i do it yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm what's what's yeah, what's is there a number on it? Would you even do it for free? Would you take an internship? 
It's, it's funny you just asked me that because I was I literally just had this conversation with um, Jordan today, and I was telling him like I'm kind of saying, but like I like what I do, but it's not what I love to do. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. I don't. I'm. It's. I like the fact that I get to work with people, but it doesn't fulfill me in the way that I would rather. Like I would want to be fulfilled doing yeah. something that I'd rather be doing, and so. I was talking about how like how like oh I'm gonna start applying to this, to you know other other companies in the same field and I'm just like eh, I'm gonna end up back in the same position, like I'm gonna be it's gonna be fun for like a minute because it's brand new in a sense because yeah. it's a different company but I was like uh, if it I kind can, of all filters back the same yeah, way yeah all filters back the same way and I was just thinking like if I can just get into like I go ahead and I take a pay cut to go and be an intern for a company that can put me in a place where I actually really want to be yeah. Because I mean, like, money comes and goes, so I'm not true. Yeah, it's a good investment. Long, it's a good investment long term. <sighs> yeah, like especially if you're doing something that you like, it's worth. I think it's worth it. I mean, it's if there's a if there are good investments, that's a good investment. It's a tough decision to make, yeah. man. Especially <laughs> the week, the day that I uh, I I put my two weeks in, I think it was also that same day or the, like a day before. They gave me a raise. I was like, uh, how you how you gonna do me like this? You dirty. Yo, you know if you're a, a like a good worker and you put in your two weeks, that always fucking happens. It's yeah. always like they do something to where it's like, oh damn, do I really want to leave next <laughs> week? Like I might just have to stay. Yeah. So I don't know, but you know I've been reading some books and stuff, and I think one thing that plays into it, which I know definitely played into it for me, and I think it goes into like the last uh, podcast I did with you guys. Um, just the fear of it. And I think a lot of people pump their fears into us because they, they won't do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like when you, when I think we're the kind of people where we say so much cause we're trying to manifest this. So we would be like, Oh no, I'm gonna probably quit my job. Like I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Cause we, this guy lied to me, man. It. We had a discussion. We were both going to quit our jobs. We were, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we definitely was going to quit together. <laughs> but see what happened was, and I called oh, him up like, Hey, I quit. You quit it. He's like, Nope. Nope. Uh, still there. No, but see, for me, like, I I had to make the conscious decision to not do it because if it's not right, then it's, it's not, not right. the right yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, it's not the right time for me. And then I'm down for risk, but I have to make sure. <laughs> Sorry. Yo, that's popping. <laughs> uh, ice pack. Yo, Adrian just got an ice pack, and I'm you jealous. Share. <laughs> share I share ice packs. Uh, <laughs> no, but um, for me, I just had to be a little bit more calculated, only because like. I kind of had things already in motion. Like yeah, this, like especially the Japan thing, Japan all thing. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm kind of like, okay. And apparently also trying to maybe get a new apartment and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, you know the apartments were But now, but yeah, yeah. But now that I know I'm not moving out of my apartment, that's cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But then after Japan, that's when I'm about to really make the change. I mean, because I um, think you might quit after. Well, you don't you necessarily like, have to quit to do no, it. Yeah, you don't necessarily yeah, have to quit. I think I might, I might you just find a job and find a job that's gonna give me more time to do yeah. things. Because I mean, for what I do, I work during the, I work during the day. Yeah. So by the time I get home, it's already like seven. Don't get me wrong; like I can still do stuff outside of that. But you're, but you're then I gotta turn, tired, but then I gotta turn around and then go yeah. right back to work. I'm tired. I can't be out too late. Like you know what I'm saying? Like because yeah. then, it's, although it's you do it thing. anyways, man. It's yeah, I do it anyway. <laughs> but I'm starting to, you know what? I ain't old, but I'm starting to I'm starting to feel it. The last time I went out and I tried to go I I was home by like two. Didn't go to work till like nine thirty. Bro, I thought I was gonna die. It's <laughs> like this is stupid. Don't who put me through this? I think I've discovered that I always thought that I was so tired and this and that. One of the the, the simplest things I did to, to fix my tiredness level, I was always sleeping for seven hours, right? About seven. And I was like, I mean, it seems like such enough time. And I always wake up like feeling like crap. Apparently, my magic number is eight. That's a eight, good number. Eight hours. And I'm, but I mean, like eight hours, and I feel great versus seven hours. I feel like crap. Like it's just that one extra hour. And it makes all the difference. Yeah, Sleeping perfect. is so important, man. Yeah. I think that, I don't is. know what podcast it was, but I mean, maybe we listen to the same one. Because you I know you're big on your sleep hours, but there was a podcast that I was listening to when they were this guy was saying, like, if you're not getting the right amount of sleep, you're literally killing yourself. Yeah. And the reason why is like body's not recovering. Yeah, it's like I forgot what math mat, like mathematical equation he said, but something like every hour of sleep that you're not getting a day is an hour sooner than you're gonna die or something. So if you imagine all those, I mean, I, I don't oh, know how accurate that is, but yeah, I'm but just letting y'all know. Then that means I'm about to die when I'm like 65. I'm like dead <laughs> now, <laughs> dead tomorrow. Yeah, um, like your body. I mean, because your it makes sense because your body it does all its recovering at nighttime. Like it puts all the nutrients where it needs to be. It put all the organs like functioning the way it's supposed to be. 
And then if you go out through the whole day, you're not like everything is not going to work the way it's supposed to. And it could just be solved with one more hour and man time management a little bit better to make those hours. No, that's very true. And you can, you notice a difference too. Like <laughs> the other day I went to work and I was like, Hey, what's up y'all? Hella juice to be at work, which is not rare, but it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like y'all. I don't know who the fuck that was, but it was me. Who the fuck? It just walked in the door. <laughs> that ain't him. Mm -mm. Nah, but, um, I had a really like good night's sleep. It was a full eight hours. And I was like, wow, this is great. So Woke up, I made feels. breakfast. I washed my dishes. <laughs> like, I, I was doing activities <laughs> before work. Like, who does that? To the but, crossword uh, puzzle. Right. You know what I'm saying? I didn't crochet. Read the funny papers. Yeah. Sewed a whole jacket together. <laughs> Just minor stuff. Nothing major. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Um, well, that's intense, man. Well, you're not. Yeah, I think it's dope because you're the second person since I moved here who's made a drastic, a drastic change in, as far as quitting their job and really going for what they want to do what they want to do yeah and i think that's dope crazy parts i didn't even know Whoa. what i wanted to do i kind of like left for that in, into like two or three categories and they all kind of follow in the same genre which is one of them was computer programmer one of them was digital marketing and the other one was cybersecurity. So they're all basically computer related um i think that's kind of always what i knew i wanted to do even when i entered high school as computer science i somehow switched to broadcasting which i probably shouldn't have um but yeah so i mean for all I know, this digital marketing thing might not work out, but I know I have two other things that I'm interested in. So, but I mean, for now, it looks great. So, hopefully, it all works out. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else to catch. We went to Portland. Oh yeah, y'all did go to Portland. Yeah. How was that? Portland's dope. There's so much beer there. It is. I like would say literally that's every other door is a, is a freaking brewery, man. Bro. It is two, two. There's three things Look you do in Portland. <laughs> Fucking oh, drinking and eating. I mean, I think that's the Titty three club, most restaurants most and bars important things. In life, and nowhere <laughs> opens till fucking like one p.m. So that was that early, one day though. Now we came on like it was, shit to do. The, the bar, no, the, the trains don't even run on Sundays <laughs> or the weekends. Which is that a thing on like no, it was a holiday. It was Memorial. Uh, that's right, it was a holiday. Um, uh, ba Bart, we had Bart has a, a holiday schedule for sure, but it's yeah. it's not close closed. Yeah, our asses were at the bus stop for like an hour waiting for a bus that never came. That never, I've done that before. <laughs> the beach. Everybody had matching towels. Somebody went under a dock and there they saw a rock. It wasn't a rock. It was a rock. Like, hey, you guys know it's not coming, right? And like, why didn't you tell me the twenty minutes? And we ago, literally just idiot? bought like I bought a twenty-five yeah. dollar ticket. This see as soon as watching by the tickets. Once. Yeah. Wait, he so. saw us at the thing, all buying tickets, and he's like, and he's like, idiots. Hey, uh, the, there's no trains today. 
We're like, great. He's like, but you want to come on my bus? <laughs> nah, bro. I just paid twenty five thousand. Wait for the train until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily the, the tickets for the bus were hey, for the train so also works, so, yeah, but, the, but I mean, it was kind of funny he really just watched us and there was like more people crowding up and it was just like no one was saying anything and they were just like idiots like, hey, watch fuckers. this you're gonna buy oh, tickets that, that god damn Jerks. guy but Portland was dope man I mean I, I think we, we talked about it a lot I mean Portland is cool I would definitely recommend it to visit I would say living there <laughs> I would also say have a plan we were a little unorganized um, had a great time yeah. but we were, it was a, a bit you know, we didn't quite know what we were doing sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's so you kind of just like coasting. Kind of. I mean, that's what happens when you come with such a big group, though, and yeah, no one yeah. steps her foot down and says, well, this and is what then, we should do. Yeah, because some people want to do this and want to do that. And like, even one day we split up. And I, I think that day was a great day, too, because we actually did the thing we set out versus other days you kind of like pulled apart, you know? Yeah. But it's cool. It's uh, very scenic, like a lot of yeah, nature. Yeah, beautiful, man. No traffic. The lake right in the middle Fucking of the amazing. thing, no trees traffic. everywhere. Is it like yeah. super green? Yeah, yeah very really much. Because oh, so our backyard, like, we had this Airbnb uh, house that had, like, this fucking huge... Ba- I mean, it's I'll tell you how, how friendly they are. The backyards touch. Like, literally, our backyard with our neighbor... Yeah, there's there's no fence. Yeah, it was yeah. just connected. Like, they shared it's a backyard. One, and a front yard. One giant backyard. So just walk out there like, hey, neighbor. Yeah, like, you're walking out butt naked in your, your yard. You're pretty much us? like, yeah, it's, it's fucking crazy. Uh, you can see my schlong. <laughs> hey, neighbor, want to see my schlong? A giant, huge backyard that, like, this becomes a neighbor's yard over here, but it's, like, all connected. That's, you know, yeah. tight and weird at the same time. Oh, bro. And fuck it. This was the most, this is the part that was so hard. We saw like a lot, a thing was called a loft in the heart of Portland. So, like, oh, a yeah. cracking ass area. Like, dude, freaking like 20 feet tall. 20 feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was waiting for all the, all the extras behind that. 20 feet tall, hella ceiling windows and shit. No, just 20 feet tall. You guys like ceilings? <laughs> it was pretty high ceilings. It's 20, <laughs> 20 feet tall, guys. All right, let me, let me do it again. 20 feet tall, modern. It had these great, awesome windows. There's a sliding door. That's perfect. I love sliding doors. <laughs> Well, <laughs> in, the, in the middle of like the downtown Kraken yeah. area, though, I like pretty much touching a, a bomb ass uh, brewery. Yeah, we went, we went to a brewery. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it's like a whole street. The whole street's yeah. pretty cracking. But okay, I would. Uh, the, it's like the a little mini Melrose almost. Yeah, imagine Melrose like West Hollywood, like a Kraken area, and it's nice and it's put together. And it's not ghetto. Fucking a baller, baller, baller one bedroom loft was like nine hundred bucks. It was fucking ridiculous. Yo, so that cheap, is gonna man. Get you and it was like, it was, it was not like even a tiny one. Like, a, like, this is like, we're talking about like 800 square yeah, feet, like yeah. 20 feet tall yeah. ceilings. 20 feet. 20 feet. <laughs> 20 feet. <laughs> all the way up. All the way up. <laughs> yeah, to the so ceilings. <laughs> fucking value of, of living is so inexpensive. Value so, of living? Cost that, of living. Cost of living. <laughs> I, I don't know about that one. The value of living. <laughs> cost no of value of living. Gosh darn, JR envying is getting me. Yo, this is making me a little warm. I'm not going to lie. It is, I'm, I'm hot. I'm about to take my clothes off, man. Oh, no, God, yeah. This show's got to be called Three Naked Dudes. <laughs> hey, it's hot as hell. Ice pack, man. I got the ice pack out here, man. Give me that damn ice pack. Oh, I man. have a whole thing. I have like 20 of them. You want one? I took ice pack. <laughs> it's, it's warm. It is hot. hot. In here. <laughs> it is, but uh, yeah, so Portland sounded like it was low-key, just like eventful. Portland? Like, but low-key, because it was kind of like you guys trying to find things Portland, to do as well. Right? I, I want the, the great part that I liked about Portland was that you can unwind. Like, it's all, it's all nature and stuff. You're just chilling back, you know what I mean? Like, you got trees, you got birds, you got this. Having yeah. a nice beer, just relaxing with family and friends That's and stuff. Dope. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool, man. It's money. Uh, ice packing. I, I get the monster one. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm putting on my beard. <laughs> How do you put on your stomach? Is it free? Woo! Not doing that. Put, just, what do you put on yeah, your ball I just hold this now. Shit is cold. Oh, yeah. For real. Try it on your ball sack. It's way better. Um, a nice pack on my Has ball anything sack. else? <laughs> Adrian invited me over to his house, and he told me to put an ice pack on my ball sack. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was in what, trouble. <laughs> what did it turn into? <laughs> what just happened right now? <laughs> so did you, did you guys go out there for, like, family, or was it just, like, a regular trip? Yeah, it's my brother's 30th birthday. Hey. Which, yeah, oh. 30, 30s. I'm sorry, Chris, if you're watching this. On the day before, leading up to his birthday, it's midnight. Oh, yeah. We we, like, all, every day we sickness. fell asleep early. We fell asleep early. We fell asleep early. And we're like, you know what? Midnight tonight's your birthday. We're going to do it. We're going to stay up. We're going to party all night long. And then we, we told him. We tried to convince everyone. And no one got in on the, on the plan with us. So we just got, like, obliterated drunk. And the next day on his actual birthday, we were just, like, Sick. dead. You know what? Give me that thing. I'll do one. I'll do one. We're going to do one. We're going to do one. We're going to do one. Do, 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 do you? <laughs> Oh! 
Dead, well, also, sick, hungover, throwing yeah. up everywhere. Like it was, yeah. we, it was a, we, we were a mess, man. Y'all definitely That's I apologize his birthday. birthday. Not intend, that was hilarious. That's fun. It wasn't funny today, but it was fucking funny oh, because the, <laughs> because we were playing a till midnight, which we were, and I think we actually waited till midnight and then we to went beat upstairs. him up with a, a fish yeah, or something. I, well, I brought a was it the the, the, oh, the, the rolling bread pin? rolling pin? Yeah. yeah. So at twelve o'clock, we went over to his room. We're like, "Are you ready to party? Want to take some shots?" And he's like, "I'm gonna go to bed." And so I <laughs> so we're like, "All right, it's all cool." So then me and you go, I think we go out into town and we actually, oh, that's, that's right. where you go play pool and drink a thousand yeah, drinks. Yeah. And uh, we're just like, we're drinking like, I mean, we've been drinking all day. So oh, raging, we, raging. Yeah, raging. Yeah, like yeah. we were fucking going in. So we we're fucking partying as if it was Chris's birthday and he was with us, but he wasn't with us. <laughs> but so we got a birthday. He was there it was spirit. a birthday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we got obliterated. We did this for you. I think I fell asleep <laughs> on the, the counter, the island. Yeah. <laughs> you got back and I was like, I'm not going to walk upstairs. My bed is yeah. here now. I come home <laughs> and he's just like, <laughs> Oh man! I fucking laid out, and then the next day it was oh god. I love your mom, but she wanted to torture us that day, man. <laughs> she she nah. made on Chris's birthday, so this is Chris's birthday, and she's like, "What do you want to do?" He's like, "I don't know." She's like, "You want to go to a park?" And he's like, "I don't care." And so we fucking, I kid you not, we uh, easily we walked, walked ten miles, fifteen miles. <laughs> we walked a, a solid, park? a solid hour minimum, minimum of an hour. We did Bro, some after walking. just having no more than that. Yeah. Remember, we went, we went all the way from not Portland to Portland. <laughs> We fucking, I mean, we I cross, think cross the bridge. You went to, you went from we, Portland we, to not Portland. We, we, yeah. we, went, we went out of town. <laughs> <laughs> no, is that the way you said? No, nah, you went from Portland to uh, not in Portland. The value of living was cheaper there, so we went. <laughs> so we went. Because they had 20 foot ceilings. 20 feet. <laughs> 20 feet. <laughs> but then we took these fucking. And it was hot too, yeah, man. Did we take the pills this, before? We took the pills before. That was the day before. That was yeah. the day we got sick, yeah. So me. <laughs> Me and uh, me and Jess, what are you saying? <laughs> me and who? We went to the we went to a liquor store to get energy drinks. That was what we were originally going to do because we're tired. And we're like, we gotta keep on powering through. We gotta keep this day going. And while we're drinking, dehydrated, we we go to get energy drinks and we find these caffeine pills at this gas uh, like this liquor store. Yeah. And keep in mind, we take like we go to the gym and stuff, so we have like a thing of caffeine pills because it's cheaper than buying pre workout. Yeah. So, so we we've done there. We're like, yeah, like whatever. We I'm yeah. used to this. Like remember like like last time my caffeine pill fell in my pocket. It was actually Molly, but yeah, I was like, ah. <laughs> Think you're acting a little drugs. weird. <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> it was. So we were like, you know, we take caffeine pills all the time. We know they work. Like, why should this be any different? So we pop them, and we're cool. Like, it actually gives us energy the day of. Yeah, like, we're, I was feeling better, yeah. We stayed all the way till like, 1, 2 a.m. in the morning, feeling great. And then the next morning, it kicked in for you first, because in, in breakfast, you were like, Brr. like, I think you either yacked. <laughs> I yacked three, three times for breakfast. At, at home? Once at home, and then at the, again the, the lawn, thing, and yeah. then one more in the bathroom, yeah. Yeah, it was like everywhere all day long. We wake up and this guy's yakking. Everyone's feeling bad for him, and and uh, Chris is like, "Fucking mad, is ruining my birthday because he's sick." And then I was like, "Ha ha ha!" <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good time, and I felt fine. And then we leave to a brewery, and Matt's like, "I'm not gonna drink, but I have to go with you guys." And you were like, "I'm just gonna sleep. I want to stay home." And it's true because I was, I was I away from like getting an Uber and like being like, "I'm out of here." Yes. Yeah. And so we're driving over there, and as soon as we get in the Uber, I get in the Uber. And I, I lose my, I don't feel my wallet. I'm like, what the fuck is my wallet? And I don't know if it was like the caffeine pill kicked in and like because I was in a moving car and I started looking around, like I fucking felt sick immediately. I was like, oh, fuck. And so we're like, bro, we, I lost my wallet. We got to turn back. And the Uber guy's like, you want me to do 12 donuts in the middle of the street? Okay. <laughs> He's like, remember to give me five stars. How's, how's the driving, guys? Yes. How you like my driving? I'm like, oh, God. Everybody who works in those services always asks for them five stars. I had somebody not Uber. Sorry, side story. I had ordered food from DoorDash, and he, he was like, hey, bro, I'm outside. I was in the city. <laughs> so I was like, all right, cool, bro. So I come outside. He like, hey, for real, bro. I got here pretty fast, huh? And I was like, yeah. I guess so. I mean, it took 30 minutes, but that's fast for sure. And he was like, for sure, bro. Hey, give me five stars. Feel me? And I was like, yes. Before the ride even commenced or you were like yes. pre-ride? Or post no, this or is like in this, the middle of the ride? It wasn't Uber. This was a uh, uh, DoorDash. Oh, okay. Oh, because you delivered food. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's like, bro, what? <laughs> Yeah, I give you four and a half. I mean, some people don't have no shame, but I mean, it's funny because but I feel it though, because that's yeah. The people that don't ask for it get it, and then this guy was like, literally, he didn't get me sick. I mean, it wasn't helping all the turns he was doing, and so finally we get back home, get the wallet. It's it's on the floor right in front of the house, 
We head over to the brewery. As soon as we go in the brewery, <laughs> Matt gets out of the car, and, and I'm, I'm fucking dying. Like, I'm right, I'm squished. It's, oh, side story. The cars that we would order for Uber, <laughs> they got smaller, smaller, and smaller, and smaller and smaller and smaller. It's those little two-seater oh smart God, cars bro. you guys are packed It in was there. like a Mini Cooper by the time we were there. So, like, it my was... leg was hanging out the window, and I was, like, scrunched up against our, my aunt. And then I was like, but for the love of God, don't it throw was, up. Don't the throw thing up. is, it was kind of funny, except the fact that it's kind of not funny because you're squishing a damn car. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah. And then the, <laughs> we would get in the car, and the guy would be like, remember the guy with the giant, like, army-sized pretzel thing? <laughs> the pretzel so, thing? Oh, sorry, I didn't know the pretzel back there. And we were already there at the destination. <laughs> <laughs> and Why don't you pretzels? give it back to me, man? <laughs> he had a giant tub of pretzels just kicking it in the back Huge, seat. Giant Huge giant pretzels. Of pretzels and, like, and, and his jacket. I'm, I'm, holding, I'm like, wearing his jacket <laughs> and the pretzel thing. And, and smushed. <laughs> And so we finally get to the brewery, and then Matt goes to like a random lawn, and he goes, "Boom!" Oh, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Y'all fast. Oh, oh, holy shit! Oh. I'm sorry. Get out of my house. I'm I'm so sorry. Just get out of my fucking house. I'm sorry. This is not cool. Get the fuck out! And he throws all up all over like someone's random oh, lawn. So you were just like. Yeah, like he was. I was toasted, yeah. man. I was done. Bro, like, so yeah. he was done, like yacked, and then I was like. Ha ha, that's funny. Oh shit, it's happening to me too. So I had to go because I waited for a second because Chris and my aunt were like, "Oh, I think we went to the wrong place." And he's like, "Where are we supposed to go?" We're like, "I don't know. Where did you want to go?" I'm like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> and I, I run to the like, I'm like knocking on random doors, like, "Please, the love of God, be open." And it's like 11 a.m. Of course, no fucking place is open in Portland, so nowhere is open, and no one's letting me in. I'm like, "For the love of God, I gotta throw out, let me." In. <laughs> And I maybe should have said it differently. Like maybe I say I'm, I want to buy something from you guys. Now, so I need to throw up. <laughs> Open the goddamn door! I, I need. Gotta, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go to the sushi place. And I'm like, the table for four, please. I'm just gonna meet them. I gotta go to the bathroom first, please. I'll be. <laughs> and I run, and then <laughs> the fucking bathroom is one of those open concept bathrooms with no door. So it's like just like a curve, and then you're the bathroom. So when I throw up, it echoes, and it's like. Blah, blah. And then everyone so hears, everyone knows that you're. And in the I come out like bloodshot, red eyes, and throw up over my beard. And I'm like, I don't think my friends are coming anymore. I'm gonna go now. And I leave. And then me and Matt, I, I meet them. Well, I couldn't. I got lost. I try to find you yeah. guys. I <laughs> accuse like you guys of lying to me. I was like, you fucking lie to me. You're not in this place. I'm in the place. You guys went back home. I know it. <laughs> Fuckers left me. <laughs> Die. I forgot my wallet. <laughs> I'm lost. Throwing up everywhere. <laughs> and then I finally find you guys and. I don't think did we did we drink? I didn't drink. I literally said not a single word the entire. I, I sat there like. Were you concentrating on not throwing up again? Yeah, I was. Yeah, and then I, I got I, th- I got food like to like maybe this will calm my stomach. I took one bite and I was like, oh yeah. no, food is not. Well, you what went I to the, we went to the bathroom yeah. like twice, yeah. so we're like I think I went to yak, and we we're just I went just to like mess. get myself together. That was yeah. hot mess, man. And I'm it, sorry, and, and, Chris again. And Chris is like. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's my birthday. You so memorable. <laughs> I don't think we drank bad. anything the whole day until maybe the very end of the night. Like, you, yeah. I think you might have. I, I, no, I stayed away. I think even the next day, I didn't drink until much, much later in the day. I just think that's that's, that's like success right there. Some <laughs> somebody got shit fixed on somebody's birthday. So. <laughs> like I said, it makes look, for a good memory. Yeah? Looking yeah, back, you know it's fucking back. hilarious. Yeah, the look, day of, trash. I was pissed. Right, I yeah. bet trashy. And I had like I was wearing sweats for some reason and like a, a <laughs> jogging suit. Hottest day in Portland. Walked no, 5,000 miles. No, that was opposite day. Remember? Well, it was both. It was both in the same day. Remember, we went to the, the place originally that you, you couldn't find us at, and yeah. it was freezing there for some reason. And you actually had to buy a sweater. Yeah. And then at the same time, 20 minutes later, it becomes the hottest day well, in the world. Well, we started walking. We go to yeah. the coffee shop and get hot, hot coffee <laughs> on a hot, hot day, and there's no bathrooms, and I had to shit. And Wait, first so, of all, you got hot ass coffee wearing a hot ass tri suit <laughs> on hot ass Portland. <laughs> and then I get. It was bound for you to And throw then I get it. fucking doo doo butt. Or we, I don't know, it's not doo doo butt, but you know yeah, what the word yeah, is. Yeah, TT. Yeah. Fucking. It <laughs> kicks in time. Full. Boo boo room? Full you carnage. Yeah. Boo boo room. I'm fucking dying. Yeah. And we're trying to. Like, I'm getting angry because I can't find a bathroom and it's no one's fault. And we're just like. I don't. No one knows where we're going. Like we know we're going to a park, but your mom's like, "I think it's around the corner. It's around the corner." We're fucking. We walked <laughs> out of Portland. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just two blocks down. And I, it's just, I'm miserable. I know you were miserable. And it, it was, towards the end, once we it stopped, got better. Once we finally got, we went to that to that one like pizza parlor thing for a quick second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Where, then is when I like I flipped. I was like, you know yeah. what? I feel okay now. Yeah. Well, we got water. There was a. You went to Baller Eyes bathroom, right? Yeah. No, I didn't. I. Uh, you made everyone a nice when bathroom. everyone was, was a shower in the bathroom. Yeah, I took a shower. Yeah, a shower in like a public. It was bathroom. like a normal pizza place, and you go in, and it's like part of an apartment complex, and there was like a shower, a fucking like futuristic like TV hologram robot that like does your every whim, 
And I was like, I'm just here to take a poop, man. But you're pretty cool. And he's like, Are you? Do you want to shower now? And I'm like, No, motherfucker. All right, I'll do it. So I took a shower. It felt pretty great. Did you really take a shower? I, I think I just did like a bird, but I didn't get like shampoo, 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 <laughs> shampoo, like body wash. But I just, I, I took off my took clothes uh, off. Yeah, yeah, like I lifted my legs, washed my feet, washed my face, washed my hands, did a little bird bath. Man, I'm, that is, I am proud of you. Thanks, man. <laughs> See, this is things I want to experience. <laughs> These are things I want to experience at a piece of only in Portland. Parlor. <laughs> only in Portland. <laughs> Only in Portland. Well, now I need to go. What, uh, they uh, stay weird, like that's your phrase, or keep Portland weird. Keep Portland weird. Yo, did y'all go to the original Voodoo, Voodoo Donuts? We is in did. Portland, right? We, well, yeah. So we personally we walked by it a hundred yeah. times. We never actually got in line. But my mom and um, her friend they actually got us the donuts, mm-hmm. and I ate them. Freaking amazing. Way better. No disrespect to the One Universal Studios, way but uh, this one, the One Universal Studios is way better. The Universal Studios is doo doo. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone that's actually liked it. Yeah, but the one over there is amazing. Yeah, see that's why because I, I know it's the original one, and I remember seeing them on the Travels Channel like dumbass long ago. So yeah. I've been wanting to try them. So damn. Th- th- yeah, those ones are good. You guys got to experience that. Well worth it. Yeah, well worth it. So Portland was cool. Did uh, we do anything else? I feel like there might have been something else. <sighs> we were there for a long time. I just remember being there. Oh, I bought like two hundred dollars worth of charging materials because my. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he came to Portland with no, with no I, I cell phone have no charger. charger. No, I bought. I had my phone, and I was like, "This is gonna be the best trip ever." And I look at my bag, and I have nothing. I'm like, "Fuck, I'm on one percent." So I go to Apple and buy like two hundred dollars worth of charging equipment. They're like, <laughs> we, "It's the best deal you'll ever find." I swear. Yeah. yeah, man. Well, look. The good thing is, you have all this charging equipment. It, well, no, now the, you're stacked. Well, I no. returned it all. I the one that uses it now, I, <laughs> even smarter. I bought it just I because used of that. those fuckers. <laughs> and the funniest part was, I fucked up their cord. Like I don't know, somehow it became like mud butt cord. That cord was pure oh. white. It turned like Herschel. Called Herschel, Herschel. <laughs> called Herschel the cord. <laughs> Fucking was doo doo brown by the end of the trip because it was I don't know what it was going through. But I don't it was know nasty. what you were doing to that cord. But and fun. we returned it, and the guy was like, yeah. "Looks fine to me." <laughs> it went from <laughs> went from coke white to the <laughs> most brownest it. brown of everything. Yeah, this is how my cord look all the time. <laughs> no big deal around here. <laughs> I love that he's telling the country. He's like this old southern guy in a rocking chair. Like, thanks, welcome to Apple. That's that's an old normal looking cord. That's my me. sister. <laughs> 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 How's your uh, sister in the Apple store right now, sir? You're at work. That's my sister over there if you're curious who she was. <laughs> I'm just trying to return a court, man. She just likes to come here and just watch me work. No big deal. <laughs> Sometimes I'll twiddle with my toes. <laughs> Case or wander. Yeah, I think I haven't wow. done anything else besides that. <laughs> Yo, um, I went on my first airplane ride. That's sad because I'm close to... That was your first airplane ride? Third. I still can't yeah, believe that. I can't believe that either. My niece flew before me and she's only three. <laughs> Damn. Who am I? <laughs> are you are you converted though? You do it forever now? You don't like it, bro? I, Your description was hilarious. You said it was it felt like riding a bus. Like, like riding I legit bus. feel like I legit feel like I was riding a bus. Is that a bad? I've thing, never though? thought of that. When nah, I, I mean it's literally called an Airbus. It's yeah, it's like legit it? riding a bus. Yeah, yeah seven two seven is called an Airbus. Yeah. No. Okay, so my experience riding. Oh, I was gonna say riding the bus. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever ride the so, bus before? <laughs> flying on a train. Um, it's low key weird because it's it's so first class so or, or whatever seats. Only first class. Did you actually? No, I wish oh, I was first class. Say, first I, class. I've never done first class. You know, what? United. But you know what's crazy in my mind, and maybe because I watched Soul Plane so many goddamn times, I thought there was gonna be like snakes. <laughs> crazy stuff. <laughs> right. I thought there was gonna be a bar and shit in there, <laughs> like in first class. I thought first class was gonna be. Don't get there, me wrong, but first there, class. There are planes like that. If you get these these Chinese ones where every flight's like fifteen hours, they're ball. They're double decker with actual the bar in the middle oh, and stuff. Okay. So, but yeah, so if, when if I go you're to doing Japan, a, if you're doing a little baby trip like this, you're not gonna get that. So when I go to Japan, that's where I'm gonna be. Maybe, I mean. Check the flight. I don't. I don't know what the airline is, but me neither. Yeah. Hopefully, it is. Be-
Because I went to Europe, my flight, 12 hours, I didn't get any of that shit. Yeah, man, it was kind of it was kind of weird. I was yeah. like, this is so basic. Not that economy. So I got the window seat, which I'm happy area, I got right? it. Just yeah, there. yeah. So it, it was like 50 minutes. It was quick. Yeah. It was fast, yeah. I was on my phone. I felt like I was on my phone for 15 minutes, and I was like, I looked up, and I was like, oh. oh so well, it takes like 20 ground. minutes to do the, the no seatbelt sign. So then you have like 20 minutes of getting ready. And then it's serving drinks for 20 minutes. And then it says, all right, we're about to land. <laughs> we, and then, Buckle up, motherfuckers. The only thing that kind of like, like, quick. The only thing that kind of like just caught me off guard was the landing. Because I didn't, yeah, I wasn't expecting the landing. It does that thing. You're like, I'm going to die right, right now. <laughs> no, it, it depends on the pilot. Or I guess it's a, it auto lands most of the time. Because some of them, they're smooth. You can't even tell. And some no, of them, they're, they're rough. rough. Yeah. When I got to San Francisco, I was like, oh, God. Damn. <laughs> well, and, and then the I was like, oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah. We're good. Well, they say the hardest part isn't the takeoff. It's the landing. Yeah. And then every time you hear that, you're like, the takeoff was cool. And then the landing comes. And then you hear, feel the turbulence. You're like, this is where I die. And then it's like, fine. <laughs> this is it, guys. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and some of them are serious. If you find SFO, we're like, over oh, water, 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 land. Yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it so that's what I'm out. saying. Like, it's kind of surreal because, like, when I was looking out the window, um, I was like, am I watching a movie right now? Like, this is crazy because it looks exactly how, like, when you're watching a movie and they're up in the air. You had yeah. a window seat? Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, look how tiny yeah, everything cool. looks. But then it's like, if you fall, it's like, well, it's not so tiny and I'm going to die. So, <laughs> <laughs> real question but, is, would you rather fall and crash if you had to crash in water? Or a city with like houses and stuff. I'd rather crash on water. I can't crash on water. I can't swim. Oh, what? see, I'm a great swimmer. I think I'm better than Michael Phelps. Is that his name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Is that a real person? <laughs> First of all, did I call him the right name? I'm better than Long John Silver. <laughs> the third. The third. <laughs> First of all, I am the third. <laughs> so Jack no Sparrow ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> little Mermaid can't ever see me in the water. No, I'm sure they got the inflatable things. That's As a little. You. Okay, so I was thinking about that. No, <laughs> when you get home, so that's what I was looking hey. at the. So the, when they explain, it's low key like. United is a little. It's not that safe. United is poo poo. Like when they were talking about the the life jacket, they're like, if you pull on this, it will inflate. If it doesn't work, you have a, a little thing to blow it up yourself. I don't have time to be blowing up a goddamn inflatable for Rick falling. fashion. <laughs> that's not what I'm thinking about right now. Yeah. But no, it was it was tight. Um, I definitely feel like I'm down to start flying way more. Yeah. Especially yeah. If you get a solid deal, it's totally worth it. Because sometimes it's pricey. 60 bucks, like, man. Southwest is $60 back to the Bay Area. Yeah. Well, uh, but cheap as hell. Bad. Round trip, though. So you got to, it's like, it's like 120. 120. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah, 120 is not good. bad. Like, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. For 60, me, 60. I pay 80 bucks in gas, 40 bucks more, so much more convenient. I do it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. to drive up and to drive back, you spend just about the same amount. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The only thing that kind of sucks is you don't have a car when you get there. So then you got to rent one. Yeah. I That's think a well, or borrow one I'm not from gonna, someone or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So you Portland, kinda, we definitely learned you have to rent a car if you're if you're gonna be somewhere oh, and you're yeah. flying. We spent like a trillion dollars on yeah, Ubers and, and buses investment. and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah. See, if I'm going back, like going to San Francisco is not bad because to get around there, like, you mean, know people over there too. Yeah. So and you also got Bart and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, transportation is is cool. Yeah. yeah. But if I was to go to like cities like uh, Sac or something, yeah, yeah, car for that bad. Yeah. But yeah, man. Any car isn't even that bad, man. It's like twenty bucks a day. You can get like a sick in- plus gas. In- yeah, yeah gas. way cheaper than an Uber. <laughs> no, nah, sure. way cheaper yeah. than Uber. Way Ubers way sometimes be tripping. That's how they get you. Them always be tripping. <laughs> them, <laughs> them always be <laughs> tripping. For uh, sure. Yeah, that's fucking Ubers. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, man. I'm trying to fly more often, Ooh, especially when I get famous, rich and famous. Or, Flying you is know. the way of the future, even though it's here already. Hey, so to go back kind of to what we were talking about earlier, um, what habits? I was just talking, I was going to bring this up, but what oh, habits yeah, yeah. Have, you, uh, have you noticed that you've had to change or like breaking bad habits? Because I mean, I feel like the things like to make that kind of laziness. Change, ooh, how was that though? How hard is that? <laughs> that is the ultimate. No one can break that habit. I mean, yeah, I'm lazy. You can only get a little bit better. Day, yeah. No yeah, one doesn't break it. You can make improvements on it, yeah. And then the thing is, like, I, and it's so weird, like, because, I mean, that to be said, lazy, it is so incredibly difficult. Because, like, I was on the phone with my girlfriend, and then she's giving me this, this amazing freaking motivational speech. She's like, just get, call people, da da da, just stand in the corner, hand out resumes, do what you gotta do, you'll find the job. Just, just, and she's like, gone for an hour. I'm like, oh, yeah, I can do this shit. It's amazing. I'm like, I'm a, I, I even, I erased my whole whiteboard, and I was like, follow your dreams. This is amazing, man. I love you, man. I love you. I love myself. And then, the, the, sure enough, I fall asleep. This is that nice time. Fall asleep, wake up the next day. I'm like, ah, I think I'll watch TV for 
14 hours. And then I was like, <laughs> the game's over. <laughs> so it's what like, happened? I'm back in bed. <laughs> oh, man. It is, it is, it, it shocks you how, how easy you, you slip into like procrastination and being lazy and stuff like that. Yeah, man. I do it every you day. You have to want it so bad. You know what I mean? I do it every day. Or just force yourself, you know? Nah, yeah. Um, but I always wonder, like, because I know for me, like, I have so many habits that I'm like, yo, I need to break this for real. And I do the same thing. I tell myself I'm about to do all these great things. And then I'm like, oh, damn. Oh, shit. It's already 8 o'clock at night. I ain't doing yeah. none of it. Well, I ain't doing the none thing, of it. I, what I've noticed is if you give yourself to, to slip up, your whole day's re- Like, you have to start the day already being proactive, you know? Oh, yeah. That's, and that's, that's the key. So I had my, one of my friends that showed me this. Uh, it was like a little, like, what the hell am I looking for? A bus. <laughs> It was a, a bus. bus. A flying bus. It was an air bus. <laughs> flying train. No, nah, it was, um, oh, it was this quote. Not a quote, but it was like a paragraph. Uh, this, it's some author that she, like, has been reading up on. Uh, but he was basically talking about how, like, your day starts. So how you start your day is how you set the tone. So how yeah. you're going to set the tone in the morning is how your day's going to go out. So he was saying, like, you know, you wake up later than, than normal. Now you're going to be late to everything else. Now you're rushing. You're trying to get things done, and nothing's starting to fall into place. And then the things that you have planned, you are not gonna accomplish it, and you don't. When you start to know, like, oh, like I, I want to make, I want to finish those tasks, but now that you're so behind, you're just like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you ever listen to Tim Ferriss or read his stuff or follow him or anything, but his big thing, um, he did like this this compilation research of um, extremely successful people, and he realized that like the easily uh, the the thing that everyone does that is most easy to say like across the board, everyone has this one common characteristic. It's a, a morning ritual. Everyone that wake up, I do the same thing every day. I wake up, take a shower, meditate. Like, and it doesn't matter really what it is, but as long as you are consistently doing that thing every day, then the rest of the day falls into place because you already have made the structure for it to happen that way, you know? Oh, yeah. And I think that's the key, too, is consistency. I think you can't really change habits without consistently working at it. And routines, yeah. Yeah, yeah. having routines down. But see, that's the hardest thing. Tell me. Because I can routinely just be on Instagram. See how that just works out? Instagram is taking over lives, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. God damn it. But follow us on Instagram. Yeah, but follow me on Instagram, first of all. <laughs> Always first of all. Um, what, what habits are you uh, trying? Is there, is there a bunch or is like just one main thing? Uh, actually, I've been doing really good Top on three. one habit. I actually, I can, I can cook, but I eat out so much. Yeah. <laughs> eat out so much. That's one bad habit I, I've been working on changing. Um, but you're a mom cook, so I feel like it's not. It's only like it's it's a it's a choice for you. Did like, you say people, your mom cooks? I That's why I was like, I thought, I thought he said you're a mom cook, and I'm like, damn. What, what did you say? Is that a compliment? He's a bomb cook. <laughs> oh, you're the bomb. I was like, <laughs> that is not what you said. <laughs> I was really sitting there like, is that a compliment or <laughs> you're a mama? You trying to fight? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight you right now. I mean, mom, it's, good. it's a compliment, I think, if I said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's the thing. Like, I can really cook, but, yeah. uh, man, it goes back to just being, like, how easy it is to be lazy. Because it's so much easier just to order food <laughs> and then pick it up or have it delivered. <laughs> Mostly delivered because ain't nobody got time to go pick it up. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but um, that's one habit. Trying and cooking more? Trying to cook cooking more. Um I actually meditated, practiced meditating a couple times. I'm trying to make that a thing because it really does help. It's so nice. weird how meditation definitely just can put you. How are you doing it? Um, App or just by yourself? Or um, No, I, I just turn on music and just meditate. I, I was reading in a book like just one thing because I was like, what the hell? I don't know about you, but like for me, when somebody told me like, oh, you should meditate. I'm like, you sound stupid. You want me to just lay here? <laughs> well, yeah, there's, there's, there was like a, a weird, like, hippie Buddhist kind of stigma to it. But when you sit, I mean, just taking the really time to, to, you know, be in the moment and, and be thoughtful, it's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And the thing that I liked about it, which this works in a lot of things, I sometimes, so one thing I want to start working on is, like, being able to speak publicly. Because sometimes I get really nervous and my anxiety kicks in and I start breathing hella heavy. And then, like, I just lose control. Have anxiety. Uh, what is that? A panic attack? Is it happening right now? Calm down. Kind of a little bit. <laughs> no, but um, not <laughs> but what but what meditation does, which I I've noticed, and this even works with even working out, because when working out, you have to control your breathing. So when you're focusing on your breathing, it's like, man, this I never focus on that. So meditation for a lot of things too, but for concentration and all kind of things. So I've been working on that. That's another habit I'm trying to like jump into, making consistent. It's a good habit. To have. One of the ones that I think I've <clears throat> successfully accomplished is um 
or I'm, I'm getting there, is just slowing down. That, yes. Um, like when running? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just in general with everything, man. Just sometimes when you're talking, like literally, it's as simple as that. Sometimes when you talk, you kind of rush. Like if you just slow it down, the thoughts come better. You sound more intelligent. Um, you can articulate better. But so in everything. Like sometimes you think you're doing like me. I, I told you I, I quit my job and I wanted to, to meditate and this and take a journal and that and blah, blah, blah. And I realized that baby steps, one thing at a time. You can't do 20 things all at once because you're going to burn yourself out or none of it's going to stick. Um, so slowing down was one that, it almost seems counterproductive, but it's totally not. It's it's definitely helpful. No, I think a lot of I think a lot of people it get in their head to where they're trying to get things done so quick. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. trying to just like it's move, move, move. But sometimes it's like no, nah, like chill, slow down, and think about the process. Like, yeah. take and that, time. that even helps too with like my temper too. Like a lot of times I I I react quickly. You say something, I I, I get angry or whatever. And now I like slow down. Like well, what you said actually does make sense. There's no need to get upset. Yeah, yeah, man. You start to learn. I, I'm the same way. Yeah. Which is weird because most people think that I'm super crazy nice. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, if I get upset, I'm quick to just be like, what the fuck you mean? Where do I'm you, just like, uh, now I'm just guys, like, oh, okay, let me take Do you time. think you're pretty good at, because uh, I've been practicing it more. Well, I try to practice it more. Thinking before you say something, especially like if it's negative, because yeah. when something bad happens, you're like, fuck this motherfucker, I'm gonna whoop his ass, you better go to the barbershop, you better catch a fade. <laughs> right? But then if a you, nice if fade, you, yeah. taper. Nice fade, taper. Make sure you line me up yeah. with the razor, bro. Like a number two to a number zero. Uh, but if you, if you stop and think, like, because they always say when you say something negative to somebody, you can't take it back. Like, once that shit's out there, you can't take it back. It, it could ruin a relationship. So, like, stop yeah. and thinking what. You're gonna say and what the consequences are of what you're gonna say is so much better than just blurting out. Which, yeah. I mean, you realize because I mean, a lot of intelligent people they're not just blah 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 blah. And as soon as you say something, they're talking again. Like they usually have a, a second to formulate what they're gonna say, and there's reason for it. Well, I think so it's, it helps, I think too I think. Um, a good way to do. I mean, one way of doing that, which helps, is to not take things so personal either. Because yeah. I think sometimes. That's one of the things in the, in the book that I was reading, The Four Agreements. I think it's oh, the first the agreement. Four agreements. I think the yes. first thing is don't take anything don't take personal. personal. Yeah. And it's so true. And I used to take a lot of things to, to heart sometimes with people. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you, you can't sometimes help it. Because yeah, yeah, you're human. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, you do it. You got emotions. Then, you feel a certain way. Um, I don't know if you practiced it. So after I had read that, because actually that's where I got it from. So it's so funny you said The Four Agreements. Um, I actually try to practice it. So when I would get upset at something so and hard, I start to take it, to, like, take it personal, I just would become quiet and then really tell myself, like, is it that deep? What is it that they're going through that they're now trying to put that energy onto you to get you pissed? Yeah. And then you're like, okay, I'm not that mad anymore. <laughs> Over it. But it's hard, though. No, it's hard. That it's, is hard well, it's, it almost goes to the same thing that he's saying, which is stop and think of things out. Yeah. A lot of times, like, you, I read the book, I'm like, well, these are the four principles. Seems pretty obvious. When you're living in the moment, you can't stop. It's not like you say something to me, I'm like, well, hold on. Let me let me you know consult the four agreements. Page. Give me is one it, second. Is it one of the four? Like the four agreement plan on palette. Yeah, like and uh, well, don't take well, I'm, okay, I'm not gonna take it personal. <laughs> it's like sometimes like just to be a normal person, you just react. You just say whatever you know. So yeah, it's, but it's all with practice, man. I yeah. mean, with well, the all thing is, though, the crazy part practice. is the human mind is so like you can actually stop and have a full on thought that that is like a thirty second thought in half a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, I think once you master that, you're you're golden. You know. Yeah. It's tough though. It is tough, but it's, I mean, it's, it's doable. Like I've said, like I've, I've practiced it's it tough, and yeah. I've read, how long, how long did you read that book? Um, I still haven't finished it. I started reading it. What? You I started reading it. it. Yeah. Like, uh, when I quit my job, like I told you, I was trying to do everything at once. Oh, okay. And that was one of the, I was reading two books at once and that's where I screwed myself. Yeah. I ended up not finishing either one. So I'm only, there's only one, I'm basically done. There's only one chapter left in it. Um, I mean, everything I read is awesome though. Amazing book. I love it. Never actually finished it, though, which is the story of my life. I never finished any book. Yeah, another good book. Uh, I like a lot of what she says in the book. Um, she has this thing. That's kind of like going back to what we were talking about earlier, people projecting their fears onto you. Uh, she calls it the big snooze. And what does that mean? <laughs> so basically, like, the big snooze will always come around and try to put your shit on snooze. So, like, mm. you talking about how, like, you're trying to chase your dreams, but it's that fear, so it's going to try to snooze it. Gotcha. To try to slow you down. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what people are like, not intentionally doing, but like they do that because they're scared. Yeah. And I don't know, like the book's dope. So it just like, it starts opening your mind up to a lot of things and then talks about like taking those risks and doing what it is what you want to do versus you at one point just being like, 
oh damn, I'm like 90, <laughs> and I never tried it. And she she gives a story actually about she had this friend who went or wanted to go buy a house in another country. I think it was it was some I forgot it was like a little country. Um, she fell in love with the house because she had traveled or traveled over there, and she was an artist or some shit like that. So she didn't make no money. She manifested that shit. She worked and she got it done. Ended up buying the property. Now worked on her second one. Like I don't know. So like when you read things like that, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's like okay, like I'm not trying to buy that no property. But <laughs> <laughs> but like when you read things like that, and it's like you start and you start to see other people around you who are kind of just doing things. It just starts to put a lot of shit into perspective. Where it's like okay, so like it's not that bad if I take risks because clearly they had to do certain things that it yeah. was so uncomfortable at one point, but they didn't let that slow them down. So. Life is about risk, man. Just calculated risks that are beneficial. Yeah. A lot of things you can calculate on a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't do it on Instagram. TT. <laughs> uh, is there any other habits you guys try? I'm trying to think about my... I, I feel like what I had a you, whole Adrian? bunch. Like, what habits yeah. is it like that you're trying to change? I'm trying to perfect time management. Ooh. I mean, I think that's... the mo- like, like I was mentioning, like, with this new job, as much as... I have no, like, I could stay home all day. Sorry, boss, if you're listening. I doubt you are, but I can stay <laughs> home all day. Like, I've literally done a few times where Friday is like, you know, like, I fucking don't go anywhere. Like, yeah. I just call a day, and then they don't fucking know. And they're like, hey, how's your day going over there, man? I'm like, it's going great. I'm working so hard. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm not doing anything. But uh, when I, I mean, I should be working. So anyways, I'm trying to practice time management where I have time in the morning to do my stuff and get ready for the day to work to you know if if i'm going to hang out with somebody i'll make time slots to hang out with people or to hang out with paulina or to go to the gym or to do laundry or do all this stuff because if you don't time manage like almost like by the hour you, you'll run out of time like you'll have the 14 hour like tv tv binge which is so easy to do because i don't regret it no regrets <laughs> no regrets because <laughs> netflix binge all the time because that's the that's the hardest part like i mean when you when i get home i'm like fucking drained so i get home like at five or six and i'm like i just want to go to fucking sleep but as soon as i if i have stuff lined up like in my calendar saying you have to do this shit and i do it it's so it feels so much better to complete it and do it but if you don't do it and you're not you know practicing your time management and scheduling then nothing's going to be done. And you just keep on procrastinating, procrastinating, procrastinating. So I'm trying to perfect that. Yeah. Exactly. And all, I mean, so this one too, I was actually telling you, I'm practicing and I, it doesn't, I don't mean to sound like in a bad way, but I'm practicing saying no to people in terms of, I don't want to lie and say I've like, that, jerk. <laughs> Adrian, can you keep the door open? No. <laughs> no, but say, like, say no to, say no to people in the fact that, say if somebody's like, oh, we should go grab uh, lunch sometime. And like maybe it's somebody I don't want to grab lunch with. I'll, I don't want to, instead of saying, oh yeah, uh, let's do it, let's do it soon. And you just keep on saying like, oh, we'll do it soon. We'll do it soon, we'll do it. Just say no and say, let's do it when we're both free and I'll get back to you. Instead of stringing people along and lying to them because you're going to end up being more hurtful to yourself and that person in your relationship than just saying, no, I want to be completely honest. Or if someone says like, Hey, do you want to go like look at flowers for a couple hours? I'm, Matt says all the time, and I'm just like, "Fuck it, I'll do it because it makes you happy." When I should just say no to your flower washing. Well, it all comes <laughs> back to the thing that I've kind of realized: trust your gut, man. Like yeah, it, yes. it, you know, you know, you know. And sometimes you're like, "Ah, oh, why not? I'll just do it." But like you, you freaking always know. That's like uh, I talk to you about this. So another habit that I've going really been working out is going out and stuff because I just I always feel like I like I'm missing something. I always want to go out. FOMO, I be in it, yeah. Um, What'd you call them? FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh. Yeah, fear of missing out. <laughs> I'm such a FOMO. <laughs> I'm a fear of missing out kind of guy. Um, and I've attempted to do this so many times. That was a hard one. It's hard because, and it's, and then it goes back to even what you're talking about, the power of saying no. I, even if I was like, I probably shouldn't go out. And somebody was like, you trying to go out? And I'm like, eh, I mean, fuck it. Yeah, I'll go out with you. And it's like... It well, doesn't seem harmful, but then... And then when you're out, you're like, why the fuck did I come out? I yeah. should have just stayed home. <laughs> I lost my money. I lost my time. I lost, I lost my, my sleep. Dignity. Yeah. <laughs> and I just noticed that it's so not productive. Don't get me wrong. Like, I like going out still and having fun. But the last couple of weeks, um, a good example, just like on Friday, uh, I had the opportunity to go out and go do stuff and go be in the nightlife. And I was like, you know, nah. Nah. <laughs> 
No, but how did it feel after you felt didn't go great? Out and you woke up and felt were like, fucking no. amazing. I woke up and I was like, I'm going to work, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not hungover. I'm not tired. But um, I think a lot. I think that it's it's so easy to slip into that kind of bad habit that cycle of man. that lifestyle. Yeah, because then you you really don't get nothing done. And that's when I had read what I was talking about. It's harder to do like to do things and to set because basically listen to everything that we're saying, it sounds like just having a routine, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a solid, consistent routine to get things done. And like, I just noticed for me that I was not, my routines was jacked, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like the things, talk, you know, the things that I want to complete, it's like, well, you're not gonna be able to complete this if you're always tired. And then not on top of that, you gotta go to work all day. You're not gonna complete shit. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been working on it. It's been pretty good. I see a difference. Um, the power of no is great. Well, it makes it makes the quality of the time when you do go out and you are with someone else that much better. Yeah. Because when you wear yourself thin, like say, you know, in a week, in a given week, Matt is hanging out with twenty people, compared to a given week he hangs out with one person. The time he's gonna spend with someone is gonna be better with that one person because he's had time to get all the stuff done and prepared and set, and then he'll have more time to be in the moment with that person to hang out. Compared to if you're hanging out with twenty people in a week, you're like. Thinking of already do you have to do the next thing? You're reflecting what you just did yeah. with other person. You're not really you spread there. yourself too thin. Yeah, yeah, and it kind of defeats the purpose of you know being with that person. It's kind of yeah. like you're you're on autopilot. Yeah, man. And too much of anything in life is not good. Yeah. So basically, Where I ain't kicking, I ain't kicking it with nobody for hell long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was just thinking the same thing. I'm over here watching the screen like this is like, like, beautiful. This is amazing. Yeah. It's a beautiful ass place. Why aren't we there? Nah, I ain't going there because there's bears. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't nobody got time for that. Um, I don't know, somewhere beautiful. Uh, but yeah, I, that that's one big thing that I'm trying to do. That I mean, that ties in with routines and being less lazy and everything. So I don't know, quality of life and quality of time and then time management, all that fun stuff. I'm trying to Yo, they, sorry. perfect that. I'm really <laughs> they really just be chilling like humans. That's, so that's we're me watching like hours a day, man. <laughs> we're watching like National Geographic right now, I think. On Our planet Island. Earth or <laughs> something, something, something like that. Something's I don't happening. Know what it is. The bears is out here just relaxing and chilling. In the pool. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Cool in it. I'm pouring my heart out to you. <laughs> talking about bears. I know. I'm such a bad friend. No. <laughs> no I'm just playing. Not, sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Love sorry. Bears. Not sorry. No, they're fucking adorable. <laughs> but bears are bears are bears. Little, are bears. <laughs> I try to put on something not distracting because other videos there's just like girls' asses shaking our faces the whole time. And I was like, I don't I can't pay attention to you guys, I'm sorry. And then I put something relaxing, these fucking bears are beautiful. <laughs> it's like these beautiful ass <laughs> majestic. Bears. Beautiful, beautiful swimming sweet in this beautiful water and stuff. Just walking the big old hands. I don't think I can handle this cuteness. Look at them! Look at them! Ah, ah them. look at them! No, they're dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> dangerous. Um, well, enough of Winnie the Pooh, man. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's spin the category roulette. What was the next thing you guys wanted to talk about? 